time and again guest house BMB actually exactly like I remember it from last time it's quite spacious and very classic look and then my car is right in front and there's a accessible and uh, I could actually use this lure today and then the best thing is this shower which I will use later haha -ha. so yeah I feel refreshed um, here time and again I could get a proper shower and actually do most of it on my own, although it was a bit risky. Um, I had people kids on standby, but oh, yesterday was hectic. <laughs> Those passes from Colesburg to Kaufrenet, wow. Somehow I docked incorrectly, and um, I was a bit too far away from the um, from the device on my wheelchair. I can put my elbow, elbow on and uh, I mean I had the support of it but not 100% and when I hit those um, passes <laughs> uh, most of the, of the pressure or most of um, the movement was on my left hand now my left hand is strong but when you're doing a pass uh, you're, so um, I just did it 60 k's an hour and people just had to wait. Didn't want to be unsafe, so, but yeah, it was quite stressful. And uh, when I got back yesterday, my smartwatch warned me to chill. <laughs> my heart rate was, I was transferring from the, so the transferring was a little bit difficult with my commode onto this loop. Um, and, uh, no, my heart rate was like going up 120 beats per, per minute and um, I only I can only do that with my physio when we that I do reps with with uh, the gray uh, the, the, those colored um, elastic bands so yeah yesterday I had to chill so uh, I didn't even shower last night I was just I just passed out and slept um, uh, yeah, so today we are going to get some supplies and then we're going to Nuke Testa. I not realized now because I haven't traveled for such a long time. I mean, proper travel probably 2012 and um, then a little bit in 2017 we were here at Nuke Testa, uh, but it was only for a couple of days. And uh, obviously, I can see a slight um, degradation in my muscles. Uh, on some things, it's huge, and, and in other things, it's a little bit more difficult, I would say. So, like getting onto the bed, the bed is high here. I, I noticed the difference between the last time I was here. It's more difficult. The shower is more difficult. Even though I can do it on my own, the shower is more difficult. Um, the bed is, yeah, as I said, the bed is extremely difficult, but, um, yeah, it's probably something. Some, there's something I realized, um, and I, that I don't often think about is exactly how disabled I am. I mean, I, I, I don't realize it at home because at home everything is worked out <coughs> the heights are worked out um, you know I, I switch my lights on with voice um, commands um, the loo is the same height as my wheelchair the, my bath is, is a little bit difficult but I can still do it uh, but here 
But like with Carlsberg, it was extremely difficult. The bed was almost impossible. Um, and I mean, even this bed, I need assistance to get on and off. But at my house, I don't need assistance. So you you know you you realize how how, how disabled I am <laughs> when at home I don't because it's such a comfort zone. So I come here and it reminds me of um, yeah, it reminds me of, of exactly how how little muscles I've left. Uh, but I've got enough. I've got enough left. Enough to. Um, least drive far so that's something but with uh, all the um, assistant devices you you, know, you, you will have to feel normal so yeah that's something um, I don't think it is a bad thing um, anymore it's a challenge uh, that, that is what this holiday is it's, it's a huge challenge Let's see where it goes.